just take a trip past Egypt. Hello old man, you are looking a bit. Hey? Eh? Egypt. Why you look so forlorn? You look terrible because you've been rolling in all of that uh, all of that food. Okay, can't take you seriously when you start talking like that. Basically he's telling me leave him alone, he's trying to sleep. Hyenas um, have quite a few different vocalizations which uh, mean a lot of different things so it, for me to even try and uh, um, copy half the vocalizations just sounds stupid but uh, you know the giggle or the laugh sometimes the kick -a -kick -a -kick -a is a nervous laughter it's not a confidence thing and they can do it in many different um, occasions for many different reasons but one is uh, uh, when when competing for food then they can do that giggle where they get their um, name the laughing hyena from um, and others is when they are being chased um, either by lions they squeal and they, they giggle as well so um, or when being chased by a more dominant individual and they're trying to get away they tuck their hind quarters in and they um, and they they giggle and run away yeah. who are you Pongi can you hear that yeah so just from me making those vocalizations um, I've called in two hyenas one, two. That's the boss. So you never want to just willy-nilly uh, vocalize and uh, and now I've called in all of them so they're all starting to come and they want to know why am I giving a distress call. There they're now sniffing and they're probably asking themselves am I giving a distress call because there's someone competing for food is there food so do you see that just like that because of me giving those little um, Clearly I'm not so bad at imitating hyenas because <laughs> like that I was uh, able to call them all in. What happened there was Bongo was just uh, greeting them and they were submitting but then by this, whilst um, Luke was submitting to Bongo he was also uh, getting Nyeba to submit to him. So it was a three-way greeting with two submissions and then as soon as the greetings were over you saw Luke chase Nyeba, which is interesting because normally it could be the other way around but those two do flip and flop um, so the dynamics um, in case you didn't uh, guess or realize in a hyena clan are absolutely incredible and it's pretty much why I find these animals so fascinating and could spend hours and hours and hours just hanging out with them because um, you learn so much all the time. Okay, I think I have found Keto and Vince. So I'm going to approach very slowly because I don't want Bongo to come and cause trouble. And I think that's exactly what he's going to do. So let me just um, let me just let Bongo realize that there's nothing going on here, and that he can go back and do do go back and do do because then uh, I can slowly st oh he's gonna go and disturb them please don't go and disturb them bongo you just wait here I'm just gonna wait here and I'll pick it up uh, just now and off goes Vince <sighs> so immediately he's just disturbed old Vince so I'm just gonna let him settle okay so quickly oh there is Kido is up let me just go and say hello to Keto. He's going to go and find his mate Vince. 
he's actually been quite friendly to Vince, which is great. And Vince looks like he has had a huge meal, which is also great. Let's approach these two slowly. Tail. And here comes the others to cause trouble. Kita, yeah. Okay, so we had a fleeting glimpse of Vince uh, with um, Kita in tow. It almost seems to me like Kito is hovering around Vince, wanting to be near him. Eh, it could be a dominance thing. So I don't want to push it with Vince, because Vince is actually looking in fantastic condition. He's getting a, um, a nice amount of food, it seems. His belly's really full. So he's certainly not been suppressed. Although I will tell you that Vince is the smartest guy when it comes to uh, getting food. He is extremely cunning and clever. And I suppose when you're the underdog, sometimes you have to be pretty smart about how you go about getting your food. I think we've spent uh, some good time with this, the clan. I think you've got to see the clan, understand a little bit about the clan, learn some interesting facts about these amazing animals. I hope you enjoyed that video. I do enjoy making these, these videos about the animals because it gives you guys, the supporters out there, the insight into these animals. A, a statement uh, phrased by a, a Senegalese uh, forester, conservationist in the in the late 60s, he was born in the 30s, name was Baba Diom, and uh, to paraphrase him, he basically said, we will only protect what we love, we will only love what we come to know, and we will only know what we are taught. And uh, at the end of the day, I think that um, speaks volumes. And uh, this is why I bother to spend time with these animals and bring them into your homes so that you too can love spotted hyenas uh, like I do. You stink. Oh my gosh, you guys really, really stink. Whew. Mongoloza, the chief in charge. Goodbye. See you, bud. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye to everyone out there who loves hyenas. <laughs>